Welcome to another episode of Brave New Leaders, where we discuss what CEOs need to know about strategy, how to make better strategy, how to make winning strategies. And today we're going to discuss how to win, which is one of the key questions that strategists and CEOs actually need to ask yourself, ask themselves. My name is Mark Snukas. I'm a strategy advisor. I've been so for the past uh, two decades helping and working with CEOs and their leadership teams on designing and executing winning strategies in fresh, hands-on uh, approaches and ways. So let's discuss how to uh, win. Now, I tend to think about how to win along three dimensions. So first of all, you have to think about how are you going to win over your customers or win with your customers? In other words, why should customers come to you? Why should they buy from you? What is your value proposition. And there are three types of generic value propositions that uh, you can think about. The first one is product innovation. So customers pick you because you have the most innovative products, the uh, most innovative features. You are cutting edge, state of the art, leading the pack. So lots of people might think about Apple, for example, as a product innovator. Uh, and we pick the new iPhone because we like all the new features. A second type of value proposition is customer intimacy. So here it is really about having a very close customer relationship. Uh, so you know your customer well, you are a, a trusted advisor, uh, if you like. Uh, your products and services tend to be bespoke, tailor-made to every customer and what every customer needs. Uh, and the third value proposition is operational excellence. So here is really more the, the smart shopper uh, kind of image. So we might think of Amazon uh, is really all about the convenience and the operational excellence that they, that they offer. So how are you going to win over your customers? That's the first question you ask yourself. Second question you have to ask yourself, a second dimension to think about when it comes to how to win is your company. How are you going to win as a company? And by this, I mean, how are you actually going to make money? Uh, what is the, how are you going to generate the returns uh, for your business? In other words, what is your economic logic? And this is where low cost and differentiation actually come into play. So these two generic strategies. Now, differentiation is all about well, you are different and this difference allows you to charge a premium. So you're making more margin than the rest of well, the industry or your competitors because well, you can charge higher prices because you are have a different product a more innovative product or talking about the customer intimacy, for example, having very close customer relationships, which allow you to charge a premium or you are low cost. Now, low cost means that uh, you are making more money because you can sell at a comparable quality and a comparable price, but you are able to produce at a lower cost, uh, maybe because you have a, a larger scale, for example, because you have uh, a more efficient uh, operational excellence um, production or operations. Now, low cost by itself, as I said, so the original definition is really, you can, it's how to make money. Uh, so the, the returns, low cost by itself is not gonna help you to win with your customers. Nobody cares whether you are making more money if you're selling the same product at the same uh, price or a comparable price than your competitors. So the question becomes, if you have more margin because you are low cost, how are you going to use maybe some of that margin to again differentiate yourself? So, so maybe you passing on some of that uh, lower cost as a better price to your comp uh, to your customers, or maybe you're buying better shelf space, for example, that you can afford because you have a higher margin. So that's how to win as a company. Now, obviously. All the decisions you make around how to win with your customers and how to win as a company have to see be seen relative to what your competitors is doing. So the third dimension you need to think about when thinking about how to win is uh, competition. And obviously, uh, the question is, how are you different compared to your competitors? And there is a close relationship to what you decide on the customer side and on the how to win on the company side to that of how you're going to win against your customers. But it could also be something like, you know, you have a, a better product and you're trying to reach more customers. So market share uh, might be an issue and you might gain more market share because you have more retail outlets or because you're selling online instead of having to build retail outlets on that allows you to win against 
your competition, but your customers might not pick you because either all of these, but because of the superior service that you're offering in any case. In some cases, it might also be worth to think about not how to win over competition, but how to win with competition. In other words, on where does it make sense to cooperate with your competitors? And in the past decade, we've seen lots of joint ventures, for example, between automotive companies when it came to bundling the, the resources to um, develop uh, batteries for electric vehicles. Or a couple of years ago, uh, BMW and Mercedes-Benz used to have a partnership when it came to their car rental uh, business because they said, well, alone we cannot win it, but if we bundle our resources, then we have a chance to uh, win together in this business. Although we are competing uh, in other businesses, but here it made sense to collaborate. So these are what I call the three C's of strategy. So your customers, your company, and your competition. And well, if you want to really win, you have to think about all three of those. Now, I hope you liked this short video about how to win and the three C's of how to win and the three C's of strategy. If you did so, please comment, like, and share, and see you next time.